Hi guys. So in this video, I just want to show you guys how to have a GUI for the Incas. So Incas by default do not have a GUI. Incas by default we can only use with the CLI, and there is no official uh, Incas GUI given by the Linux containers. The Incas GUI you guys can actually have a GUI in two methods. One you can build out your own GUI. Or you can get the LXD GUI, which is official given, and uh, change it according to you need for the Incas. So if you are like good with uh, HTML, and if you good with uh, GUI creation, or you have friend who is good with HTML or GUI creation, you guys can do that one. Get the LXD GUI, change it according to what you need in the Incas, and use it. But as most of us are. We are not good with uh, graphical stuff, so we uh, we are not like can change the LXD GUI according to Incas GUI what we need, and we do not have sometimes time. Even if you can do it, but still, then again we might not have time. So for that purpose, in the my in my last video, which which where I showed you guys how to install Incas, if you guys have not watched this one, please watch the video. It's in link in the uh, you guys will be able to see the link now. If you if you can remember that one video. I have uh, shown you guys there are two methods when you are installing Incas in Linux. One is the default package repository, official given by Ubuntu. Then the second one is third-party package repository, which is called Zabi. So Zabi has done the hard work and they have changed the LXD revamped the LXD GUI, which is going to be suitable for Incas. So you guys can directly use that uh, GUI, install it using the Zabi repository, and. <coughs> Use Incas with the GUI, same as you are using with the CLI. You guys can use it with the GUI as well. So in here, I will just quickly show how to install the GUI and access the GUI, so you guys can see as well. So just login into the your system, and I will put the link here. So this is the Sabi repository third party. So in my last video, when I show you installing the uh, Zabi using the sorry, where I showed you installing the Incas using the uh, Zabi repository. I have shown you how to add the repository as well. So please refer that one, uh, or else maybe you all are familiar with Linux, so you guys can quickly follow the installation guideline and add the Zabi GitHub repository, the third party repository, your Ubuntu system. And you just guys need to run just one command this is apt dash get install Incas UI canonical. So it's the package country rebranded version for LSD, which is suitable for Incas. So first you need to run this particular command. apt must you have successfully added the repository, just run apt dash get install canonical UI. So when I run this particular command, I get how to install the UI? So this is you guys can directly type on Y, and it will install the UI. I'll fast forward this one. Okay, now the installation is done. Now you start this required. You just can just can directly use it. So before start using the GUI, you need to do one thing. So that's uh, you need to configure the core HTTPS port. So you can leave it whether you have already have it or if not you need to configure this one first i'm going to check whether i have it so in cause config so if you not need to get the commands and see how it's happening you guys can always go to the official documentation and see it from here so i'm going to type in cause config So I'm going to type insert config show. I'm going to uh, type incurs config show. So I can see the configuration file of the incurs server. So when I type incurs config show, I can see already my core HTTPS address is set to 8443. So that means uh, my uh, command is already given. So that means. So that means. My I don't need to run this one. If you do can't see 
when you type incas config so if you guys can see can't see host TTP set this is set this can be 8443 this can be any port you want just make sure if you are going to set it to a different so you guys does not need to run it is as this so maybe you don't want to have 8443 because you guys can always run 58843 that's fine but make sure whichever the port you are going to give this is the port you have to use in order to access the incas gui and you make sure you whitelist this particular port in your firewalls and security groups so i have already given 8443 so that means i don't have to run it again so i just want to keep this one as it is and now i am going to go to my web and see whether i can access so i am running this my service actually in the aws so i'm, I'm i need to get my uh, office public ip address from the console so i just got it from there This is my IP address. So I'm going to type https colon dash one eight four four three. Then once you press enter, you will get this particular page. So this is because we are accessing this site using HTTP site using the IP address. The certificate is not authenticated, uh, like accepted generally because it's self signed certificates are going to be there. So see cert authority invalid. You guys can see the certificate from there. It's in custom generator certificate, not a uh, general certificate, public certificate where we can widely accept it. So you guys click on add advanced uh, procedure side. So you will get this particular interface now. This this is because your browser cannot authenticate it to Incas server yet because in your browser does not know the Incas server and Incas server is a self gen giving a self generator to one. And you are how we are authenticating to Inca server is using SSL certificates, not username and password. So first of all, your browser. So your client in here is your browser. So browser your browser does not go and go give you username password. You is going to use SSL certificate. So first of all, you need to generate a SSL certificate and authenticate that certificate in your Inca server. So luckily, and it's really easy. They give us the guide that we need to follow. So you guys can click on so since you are newcomer, you can click on this one. Of or if you are exist, you have existing one. You can click on this particular second option. But since I am a newcomer at the moment, I am going to click on create new certificate. And then I'm going to click on generate certificate. You can give a password. Then once it gets generated, download the CRT. And once it got downloaded, then you need to uh, edit it into the Incas server. So this is how you guys can add it to Incas server. So you are, this is the server generated by the browser so this server this certificate need to be trusted by your server in order to complete the authentication process so this is the command but how you go, can access the certificate to the incas server copy this command and go to your server and make sure you have the uh, certificate downloaded copy it inside your server okay you need to copy the certificate just you download it from the browser you need to copy that certificate into your incas server so I'm going to do that part now. So I have my Incas uh, Incas UI certificate uploaded into my server. So I'm going to use the command. So it's basically uh, incas config trust add certificate then you need to give the certificate name or if you have a specific part you need to give the path so i'm going to give it like this okay i need to be wrote in order at that one so i'm going to 
use sudo in here so i got just got added so i can view it in using the incurs sudo config last so this is the incurs config trust list it's the command that you can use to view the certificate which you added so this is the certificate which i added as you guys can see in case you assert so i just added this one client authentication certificate so i have another client certificate which uh, this one is used when i'm copying uh, in case vms between two separate incas servers you guys can see that particular video as well in the playlist itself uh, subscribe to my channel so you guys can see that one as well in the playlist so you guys can understand what is this particular certificate and how it works in that particular video so right now in order to authenticate myself to gui i have added the uh, browser generator certificate in my server successfully now i'm going back to the browser itself so next you need to download the pfx file so i'll be i download the crt file earlier now i'm going to download the pfx file Okay, then uh, click on depending the uh, your browser. So Chrome, Linux, Chrome, Windows. So I have a Chrome based browser. So I'm going to click on this one and just follow the uh, given steps in here. So go to Chrome security. Okay. And then Go to advanced section and then uh, you need to click on the import uh, click on the manage device certificates and then so go to the manage certificate and you guys will be able to You guys will be able to get this one go to personal and then uh, click import and next incas, select the incas ui certificate and then in the password if it's do not have a password click on next okay so what i need to do is like i'm going to add this certificate to personal section because it's my personal certificate not other one so it's always if you are going to add something that you are going to uh, use for your testing purposes or your own applications it's better to add it in a personal one because it will not impact or complicate with other ones so click on the make sure you are in the personal one import click next house for your certificate so i'm going to add the pfx one Make sure you have click on pfx in here and click the pfx open next if you have a password since i had the password i need to give you this one so if you click on this one you will need to give the password again and again every time you are logging so since i'm just doing it for demo purpose i don't need to do this one if you have a like a production server and if you are going to authenticate yourself to production gui better if you enable this one and i'm not going to again click on the mark this key exportable because i don't want this key to be uh, exported from this machine to another machine but if you, then again if you need this particular key to be exported uh back in like a in the future on some other day from this particular device to another device make sure you click on this one as well and i'm going to click make sure i click exclude include uh, all the extended properties next personal certificate store next now i'm going to click on finish you will get the message saying the certificate import is successful click ok close and close this page once that is done
So once you get this one, click on proceed. Once you click on proceed, if the certificate, so you need to completely close the browser. If you do, have not closed the browser, you will not get this, get this prompt once after you added the uh, certificate. If you haven't have at least one profile of the browser window open, let's say if you have multiple profiles in your browser, in browser you may be having Chrome or Edge. In the Chrome or Edge, you can have multiple browser profiles, right? So in order to get the successfully import, uh, get the importer certificate working, you need to close every profile. So otherwise it will not work. So once it's successfully get imported to start using by the browser, once you click on this proceed to uh, the IP address, this option in here, you will get a pop-up window from the browser showing that which certificate you should use in order to authenticate. So I need to, so this is the certificate which I just added a little bit while ago. So I need to click on this one and click OK. So that means I'm telling my browser to authenticate it to this Incus web UI using this particular imported certificate. So earlier I put my cert, cert is my public key into the server and PFX is my, having my private key. So that's private key, public key authentication. If you don't know, please uh, search on the internet to get an idea of how, what's the public key, private key uh, authentication means. So this, I just click, uh, I'm going to click on this one and click OK. Now I'm authenticating myself to the Incus UI using that cert. So once that is created, I can see authenticated myself. Once I am authenticated myself successfully using the certificate to the Incus server, I can see all the Incus com uh, configurations and the running server services from the UI itself. So see, I, if I go into click instances in here, I, I can see temp1 container. So this is the GUI and I can verify that same thing in the CLI itself. So this is my server. If I type incus list, again, I need to be sudo. See, temp1 stop. So if I start this in here, incus start temp1 and I, I will type incus list I can see it's running so I'll go back to my uh, GUI see it's running so if I <coughs> stop this from here so it's stop so if I go back to my CLI and if I type incus list stop so you guys can I, you guys can see I have my GUI and CLI both set up for the incus so I can use anything I want so this is how you guys can use the incus GUI setup and use start using with your incus server I hope this helps you guys so almost all the functions you guys want can be used by the GUI itself not 100% everything but almost everything so I hope you this help you guys in your journey with Incus and this, this UI will help you to manage your servers freely if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I will try my best to assist you guys at the earliest. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with other people if you find this helpful. And you will be able to find another set of your videos with Incas in the Incas playlist in the channel itself. Thank you. Have a nice day.